people, welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is about scratch board. Scratch board is not new, but scratch board is fun. It has been around for a long, long time. I have not done any scratch board since like high school. But if you haven't tried scratch board, it is a lot of fun. And surprisingly, it didn't take me 18 years like I thought it would. You know, I'm a, I work slow and uh, this did, I was able to do this at a fraction of the time than I thought. So you're asking, what's scratch board? I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, okay, let me explain. So scratch board is not like a particular product that's unique to one company or the other. Um, we have scratch board from numerous, you know, a couple of companies, but basically what it is, is it's a hard board, like a Masonite kind of product that has a white substrate, um, a white coating, but then is actually um, coated with a perfectly even, like smooth coating on top of the white with black ink. And you actually scratch into the surface to work in reverse. Instead of putting dark on the light surface, you're putting the white and the highlights into a dark surface. You're scratching the black ink off to get down to the white that's underneath. And it is super fun. This turned out like better than a thought. You know, granted, I don't have trouble with black and white rendering and stuff like that, but it's been a long time since I've worked like this in reverse. But we do have this really economical pack of scratch board tools. I've got a couple like little things that you can see where I was actually working on this piece. There is a metal tool in there that has like five little parallel nibs on it. I use that a lot because it was a way for me to easily render contour lines because it makes like five little parallel lines all next to each other. So that was a time saver, <laughs> you know, like five lines at the time uh, that it takes to make a one. Then we also have like this interesting brush tool that looks like a scrubber brush, but it's really, really stiff, like super, super stiff. But it's what I use to make these kind of muddled areas or the areas inside the sunflower where you can actually like just kind of scrub the um the the black ink off in a much more gentle kind of application instead of like stiff hatched lines they also include like a thing of steel wool so if you're trying to create kind of like muted line work that way or value like gentle value you can use the steel wool in that exact same way but on a larger scale and then there's also this tool that makes a single line. I liked the nib that where it had like the really, really super sharp point, but then you can turn it and then like almost scratch off like large, large areas because, you know, just get, you know, tired of like, ha, ah, scratch, 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 you know, so it was able to kind of clear um, large areas and punch in some highlights quickly so I could kind of get my bearings for where my darks and my lights, you know, how those were going to be arranged and stuff. Scratchboard does make a mess, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you will frequently have to like blow on the surface because sometimes when you're scratching off the stuff, you're gonna wanna clear it to make sure that you don't overdo it and scratch in there too much because sometimes the residual black ink will just kind of sit on the top. So you have to kind of blow on it and clear it off. Well, where does that go? All over your table, all over your table. So when you clean your art table up, you will notice that you have this black fog on stuff. Um, and it's because of the ink that's on here. Now, people are gonna have some framing questions. I would always put this under glass normally because I just think it's like kind of too delicate to be hanging out there and you don't wanna kind of mess it up. This is already kind of like a backed sheet. So you don't have to back it with other stuff. I would just put Matt, on this and pop it into a frame and you're good to go. The other cool thing about scratch board is there is a whole series of scratch board inks so that you can create darks and lights with scratching into the surface, but then paint over them with some inks. You can even use acrylics this way, as long as you test them on the surface first to make sure they're not going to pool or bead on the top and create a problem. Um, you can use alcohol inks for this and stuff like that. So there's a whole bunch of um, 
some variety of really, really cool stuff that you can do with scratch board. And it's very inexpensive. It's a lot of fun. It's high impact kind of visual. It's just really, really cool. So try out some scratch board because um, we're sure that you will enjoy.